Right onto East Brambleton Avenue. That's right. Me. Okay, hey y'all. So, I don't even think I introduced the video. So, hello. My name is Montage in Haven, and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, the last time I know that I picked up the camera for sure was like 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. And y'all, it is now 3.50. It's 3.50 p.m. It's May 28th, Sunday. And I just got back to Virginia. So when I picked up the camera the first time, I was actually in South Carolina on my summer break with my family. And today I basically was traveling back to Virginia. I'm not sure if I mentioned in any of my previous videos, but this summer I am doing research here at Norfolk State University on bacteriophage with one of the professors. So that's taken up like a month and a half of my summer. So that's why I'm back. It starts on Tuesday, so May 30th, I'm pretty sure, but that's when it starts. So that's why I am back at school. So yeah. Like I said, it's like 3.51 and I just made it back. I got all of my stuff out of my car. Now I have to unpack so I'll let y'all see that. I need groceries because I have nothing in my fridge. I made sure I cleaned my fridge and the fridge in the kitchen before I left since there is nobody here but me and my roommate. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna let y'all see me unpacking and I'll pick up the camera when I'm done unpacking and I'm getting ready to go to the store. To make the people say yeah, yeah, yeah. I can put you in a low cabin somewhere in Aspen. Girl, ain't nothing to the pain, ain't tricking. If you got it, what you asking for? Put you in a mansion somewhere in Wisconsin. Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain We can change that last name, what's happening? Cause you look so good Tell me why you wanna work here I put you on the front page of a King magazine But you gon' get yourself hurt here Hey, baby, I bought you in the back just to have a conversation I Really think you need some ventilation Let's talk about you and me Oh, I can't believe it She made the people say yeah 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 She hit the main stage She made the people say yeah Okay y'all so I'm done I don't even know what time it is I don't know where my phone is But it hasn't been a lot of time I showed y'all majority of everything that I did Excuse my baby ears Cause baby they all up but I put all of my like clothes and stuff up and I put away like any of the spices and stuff and stuff for the kitchen that I bought when I was at home. So now I'm finna go get groceries, cleaning supplies, you know, paper products, feminine hygiene, all of that stuff because I threw everything away, like food wise. I threw all of my food and stuff away before I left. So I have to clean, you know, the fridge and all of that good stuff before I put new food in there. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to make a grocery list, y'all, because I'm gonna be real with y'all. I have been spending like 200 to 250 on groceries, just for me. And I didn't realize until I went home that I've been grocery shopping completely wrong. So I'm gonna try something different and shop on a budget because your girl is on a budget. I don't have money to be spending like that on freaking groceries and stuff for the room. But I need to get, you know, the stuff that I need. 
So I'm gonna try different places. So when I was at home, my grandma put me on to actually going to the dollar store and getting stuff out of the dollar store. Did not know that the dollar store had certain stuff like spices and I didn't know. I don't even know why I didn't think about that. But I got a lot of my spices when I was at home from the dollar store. So I'm gonna go to the dollar store here to see what type of stuff that they have. I'm gonna go to Audi's and I'm gonna go to Walmart. So I'm gonna make my list. I'll show y'all how that looks and then we're heading to the store. <laughs> my voice it probably sounds a little weird because for some reason I woke up with a sore throat and my nose feels a little stopped up so I've been in the bed all morning it's like 11 o'clock it's 11 16 actually and I'm like I need to get up um today is Memorial Day um if y'all are wondering but I don't have anything like special to do like I'm back at school which y'all seen yesterday I have to show y'all like the stuff that I bought from the grocery store as well as how much I spent because honestly looking at the list that I made I got a lot of the stuff that I had on my list and I only spent like $120 so I feel like that's a win I don't know about y'all but I feel like that's a win and I feel like I probably wouldn't have even spent that much if I didn't have to get like personal hygiene and paper products so overall I think I did good so I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got as well as the receipts and stuff so y'all can see how much I spent at this at the different stores Okay, y'all, it's late, but I realized I never showed y'all what I got from the store. So let me show y'all real quick. Excuse the look, y'all. It's like 8 o'clock. I'm back in my bonnet, but we're not going to talk about that. I've been relaxing all day, so yeah, let's just, I needed that. So I'm going to show y'all what I got. So this is what my cabinet looks like. So I know I showed y'all like the um, buggies or the shopping carts that I had everything in so this is just what everything looks like and I know y'all can't see everything but as y'all see the shop the um cabinet is completely packed 
like I'm missing the spice which is in my room right now but literally there is no room for nothing else so that's what the cabinet looks like and then I'll show y'all this is my little section over here and my dresser my dresser is here and this is what that looks like like I said uh, everything is packed and I got a lot of this stuff from the dollar store so we love that lastly I'll show y'all the fridge so I have this we have this fridge and then I have my mini fridge in my room and I just keep my stuff mainly on this level right here so as you see everything is filled up as well as over here on the side and then this dresser is also mine so everything is pretty much packed in there as well as far now as far as what i spent at each store i told y'all that i went to aldi's i went to family dollar slash the dollar tree as well as walmart so in total i went to three grocery stores three different stores to get the stuff on my list which i showed y'all and honestly i feel like i didn't spend as much money like compared to what i normally spend i did not spend a bunch of money like normally i spend about 200 250 dollars on groceries and i don't know how so yeah and if i didn't have to get like paper towels tissue personal hygiene stuff like that i wouldn't have even spent that so in total y'all i spent like 120 dollars so i'm gonna show y'all each receipt so at aldi's i spent 21 dollars and 76 cents at the family dollar i ended up spending 51 11. i don't exactly know how i spent that much but a dollar 25 racks up very quickly and then some stuff i got from the family dollar side so it was more than a dollar 25. and then from the neighborhood walmart i spent 48 dollars and 50 cents this is just what that looks like as you can see at aldi's like the prices were not like large at all and then at walmart this is my receipt excuse how crinkled it is and then this is what the receipt for family dollar looks like okay so i'm back in my room y'all everything is on the tv in the back i got my fan on y'all i just been relaxing all day and i don't regret it because if you know me you know i barely take the time to relax i'm always doing something and with me starting my research internship as well as studying for the MCAT your girl is gonna be busy like I'm gonna be busy I'm not really gonna have a lot of free time so I'm gonna enjoy any moments of relaxation that I can but I did want to come back on the camera because I know that I'm getting ready to close this video out and the only thing that I really need to do which isn't much, is get my stuff out for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the first day of my internship and we have orientation tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I did say that I wanted to get up early, you know, make myself some breakfast and really get myself together. I'm also gonna be starting like my actual content review section of studying for the MCAT. So I wanna get everything like set up or at least do whatever i need to do that way tomorrow i don't feel like i'm rushing and i also want to go to the gym tomorrow so i want to get everything like prepped and prepared tonight so i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear y'all i don't know what i should wear like this is my first um research internship i should say that and i know that in the lab like it's more so lab safety but because this is orientation like i don't know if i should dress business casual or you know comfortable i don't know so we might just do business casual i feel like you can't go wrong with business casual even if i do end up going to the lab tomorrow i feel like i can't go wrong with that so i'll probably do business casual with like some black slacks and a button-up shirt i don't think i can go wrong with that so I might end up wearing that. I'm going to get that out as well as what I'll be wearing to the gym tomorrow. And I'll also show y'all my setup because if y'all haven't realized, I kind of moved some stuff around in my room specifically for when I'm studying for the MCAT. I want to let like the natural lighting in. So I moved my desk. So I'll show all of y'all that. 
Okay, so really quickly, this will be what I'm wearing tomorrow for my research internship orientation. I'm just going to do some black slacks and this white button-up shirt. And I'll probably pair that with some black flats just to be comfortable and not, you know, be doing too much. I don't know if we're going to be standing up or sitting down or walking around campus. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And then I also got um, my gym outfit out which is just a black sports bra some black leggings and this black half jacket that I have guys so last thing so this is kind of what my desk setup looks like now so this was actually in front of the window but I actually moved it over so this is what it looks like now and I now have a monitor my MCAT books are there have my keypad as well as my mouse and then my iPad is here with the timer set up the monitor is on Anki and then I have my MacBook over here in case I need it but right now I have it like split screen and I mainly look at this screen anyways so this is just my setup you guys and this is what I will be doing tomorrow and just like that y'all all of my gym stuff is packed in my bag as well as my gym shoes and then what I'm wearing tomorrow is already set out so your girl is prepped and ready for tomorrow all right you guys so i'm going to get ready to close out this video i hope that y'all enjoyed this video be on the lookout for more like i said today was a very slight day so it wasn't really much for me to show you but i did show y'all everything i needed to everything is on the charger all of my stuff is out your girl is gonna take a shower and relax for the rest of the night and get ready for tomorrow so like i said i hope that y'all enjoyed this video if you have not subscribed down below like this video comment down below and be on the lookout for more videos y'all good night mm -hmm.